Arkansas. He was, a, he was a Southeastern Conference freshman of the year, second round pick, but went overseas and played for a handful of years, came back to the NBA, made it with Houston, and during his time with the Rockets, Finch was an assistant coach. And now we got Beverly and Morris going at it. And a yep. technical foul on both Beverly and Morris. Wait a minute, he called a double technical initially. He called a double technical initially. That's what I said, and now. And then he recognized that Marcus Morris already had a technical foul, and he's trying to take it back, the official Ed Malloy. And it's gonna be hard because he, he motioned double technical foul in here. He just can't give Patrick Beverly a technical foul because both of them were doing the same thing. Here's the problem. Checking to see if a hostile act occurred during the free throw. Yep, that's a he motioned double technical foul on both of them. He saw that it was Morris and knew that he already had one technical and doesn't want to send them in a playoff playing situation to the showers. Pat Did I just say Patrick Beverly was going to do something to get underneath your skin? I just said it. And what they're going to do, because it looked like Patrick Beverly started it right there. So they might just give Patrick Beverly the technical foul because he started it. Because more is not doing anything. They called on Patrick Beverly for a hot slack during the jump ball. He's slapping down on Morris's arm during the dead ball. So they just give it to Patrick Beverly and not Morris. But Ed Malloy said double technical for both of them initially. George is at the free throw line.